Hello everybody, my name is Parak and in today's video I got requested to go take on Primordial Malzino with the Spinning Slash Charge Blade. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And of course, here is the quest, I'm going to go do the Hazard one because it's in the arena. Alrighty, let's see. It has been a little bit, I uh, say a little bit, it's been a bit since I used Charge Blade on this at least. And I usually bring SAED because it's just a lot easier to deal with Primordial with that weapon because you can reach him with basically everything you do. I also got a fairly small model today, it looks like, kind of. Slap him once, follow him to where he backs up. Wrong scroll. We want to be on this one, because this one has the, uh, the stuff that I need to charge up my stuff. Just to get him back a little bit quicker. There. That. Roll. Ooh, that's unfortunate, but that's okay. Get it back. Roll. And roll. Okay, I need to swap scroll because I get more damage and I get ready stance from this scroll. Nope. Okay. I also put guard up on here just to block one certain thing that he can do. So we'll see if that comes into fruition or not. That's fine. There. Get the adrenaline rush active. Nope. Keep smacking him. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Nope. Woo! Sketchy. There we go. Some damage. Nice and easy. Guard it. Okay. Nope. Tried to get offensive guard active. Or, uh, not offensive guard. What's it called? Try getting adrenaline rush active as often as possible. Even though it has a pretty long duration. So I don't actually have to worry about it all that much. Nope. There. Okay. Nice and easy. What's he doing? Grab. Get offensive... Oh my god, I keep thinking offensive guard. It's adrenaline rush. Get adrenaline rush active off these rolls. Should be able to reach him, which we did. Quick one. Nope. Got it. Okay, just in case. Nice and simple. Just gonna play very safe here. Okay, that beats that guard, which is fine. Nope. Woo, okay. Can get spinning slash active off anything here. That's fine. I'm just going to roll through this. And then swap. Smack him once. Nope. Okay, beautiful stuff. Get over to the face. Let's turn it around, actually. Some damage. Nice and easy. Wind Mantle's more than enough at level 1 to give us back our wire bugs in time. Which is beautiful. Okay, we got phase 2. Cancel it early. Okay. Upswing. Really? He chose to double roll. That's very interesting. He usually doesn't do that. Because he usually starts with any kind of, like, attack there. He'll either do the beams or the balls from the sky. Nope. Okay. I needed to get my shield active soon. Okay. That'll work. Hit me. Oh! Okay. Nope. Got point. Charge the shield. Okay. Let him hit me again. Comes out a lot faster um, to just let him hit me like that. Because we don't have things like Rapid Morph because you don't need it. Just regular guard there. Okay. Get some files. Just smack him around. Get some damage in. He missed. There. Ah. At least it doesn't deal all that much, as you can see. That's fine. Okay. Get that active. Okay, cancel this, get the axe active. Ah, unfortunate. That is why I got guard up, is specifically for that attack, but I don't actually know if it actually works on that. So I wish I was kind of standing up for that, but it's all good. That's fine, should blast, we just get to act activate this. Oh wow, yeah, he sits there for a while, I definitely should have just done damage into it. But that's fine. Has been a little bit. Yep, that's fine. Roll to keep our axe. Because you want to keep spinning axe active as long as possible. That's what ready stance is for. There. One more. Oh, that was... Uh, it's always one hit. Always one hit from some kind of breaks in this game. Before I get hit by something. But it's fine. At least we still get damage into it, of course. Because Wirebug recover and then get our axe active. 
we're all fine. That's fine as well. No blast for a little bit because Dragon Blight, Intrepid Wasted. There. It's active, so we get a level two. Nope. Some smacks on him. Okay. That's fine. Just walk over to it. Downswing over to him. Nice and juicy. Guard it this time. Okay. Swap scrolls so we can get our shield active. We'll get it recharged at least. Excuse me? What? Hmm. Okay. That, that's fantastic. The amount of times I've been able to walk away from that attack and I couldn't do it there. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Charge that. Get some swings. A little bit more. Thank you. Even though you don't need it. Second one, we charge the axe. Beautiful. Swap. One hit. Okay. Go under him. The balls. Guard it. Nope. Cross slash. And blast. Get over to him. Ah, oh, that's a bad stagger. Unfortunate. I could also be, uh, what's it called? Oh, wow, really? So I've gotten lucky there each time. That's unfortunate. I right, lost my train of thought now. Slash. Okay. Wow, he really is so far away from me there. That's okay, though. Put the weapon away so we can dive. Pretty sure I can't block that with guard up. That's why I didn't bother. Get this active immediately. I'm also not uh, air dashing at all because it won't give me anomaly blight like it would with a regular anomaly monster. That's why I'm not doing that. Because normally with this set I would just uh, air dash through something to get anomaly blight. Okay. Roll to keep the shield. Nope. It does three hits here maybe. No, only two. Okay. Quick downswing. There. Okay. There. Okay, that time he didn't hit me. That's fine. Oh, that's what I lost my train of thought with. That didn't hit me last time. Oh! Nope. Second one. Go back towards him. ED2. Roll. Okay. Quick one. There. Always go left if you're trying to actually dodge that attack with a roll. Because it tracks a lot less if you go left rather than right. Roll to keep the shield. That's fine. Get over to him. I did attack there, but it just didn't register my uh, triangle input. Which is really unfortunate, because I would have gotten a stun if that hit. Very likely would have gotten a stun, because he had a uh, shock tripper on him. Okay. Nope. That's fine. Get some vials. This hits twice, so I have to guard manually. Charge the shield. Okay. Just get some hits in. It does good damage. So it's not the worst to just do those combos. Okay. Nope. Second one. Aw, oh, really? That's disgusting. Definitely felt like I rolled through that, but apparently not. There's our stun from using impact. Which is definitely very much needed here. Taking a little bit to take him down, for sure. But that's okay. Should be last phase, which it is. Okay, cool. Would love to get, uh, what's it called? Axe active here. Maybe off one of the attacks here. We can counter. Air dash. Okay. Just so I could keep the buff active for this knockdown here. Because he's going to have an opening here. We get to hit him for free. And I'd rather not have to try and activate the uh, axe mode. Or spinning axe for big damage. Unfortunately, we got... Oh no, Dragon Blight's gone. We did have Dragon Blight there. So it's very lucky that it's gone. Oh my god, I was so early. That was such a good stagger. Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay, spin it around. That's fine. Big blast. Roll through it. Smack him. Unfortunate stagger for sure. 
the nuke again. Beautiful, we're already in axe mode this time, so we're looking much better than last time. Which is great. Would love to land a, uh, a powder mental on him, actually. But that's okay. There. There. One more. Alright, beautiful. Now just roughly align about here. Just not directly in front of him. So the orb doesn't hit. Get over to him with the regular one into ED2. Nice and easy. Another one. Because we particularly care about this attack here. The ED2s definitely does a lot more. Nope. Okay. Go for that again. I'm lucky that that's only hit me once actually, because uh, proved earlier that it wasn't consistent when it randomly hit me. Ah, oh, my god, that's so disgusting. Okay. Nope. Roll completely to the side there this time, because uh, there's a very long hitbox on it. Got point? Okay. Just careful of the shockwave. Oh my god, there was one more orb. I saw it sitting up there too. That's so annoying. Okay. Slap. That would have been a good one to counter for sure. That's alright. Um, I need to prioritize my... What's it called? My axe mode. Oh, we can't even get anything active. That's okay. That's okay. Get over to his body. You can activate this without the uh, shield. But definitely wanted that. I'm also in the wrong scroll. So I had to go with upswing instead of ED2. That's fine. I figured it was very close. But uh, I had to do that combo. Otherwise, I would have done counter peak performance instead of the guard reset. But there you go, there's a Primordial with Spinning Slash. I definitely prefer to just do that with SAED. You absolutely decimate the front of his head because the SAED lands roughly on his face. Like all of it pretty much. And his head is obviously the full range of his neck here. So it's got very, very juicy elemental hit zones for SAED. As always, here is the build. It's just a standard Adrenaline Rush build-up boost set with pretty much everything that you would want in it for a Spinning Slash build. Mail of Hellfire 3 Talisman with a 3, 2, and a 1. Obviously not needed, but it's very, very nice to have. And what I mean by not needed is you usually put really high priority skills in these augments. So there's one Mail of Hellfire spot. So I only need Mail of Hellfire 2. There's another one. Yeah, so you literally just need a Mail of Hellfire 1 Talisman and you can make this set. I've just got a couple extras because I had a better Talisman. And of course, here are the skills and decorations. All these green numbers here are from decorations. If you want to recreate it yourself, they're the decorations that you'd need. Well, everybody, that was a request to go take on Primordial Malzino with the Spinning Slash Charge Blade. It wasn't too bad. As I said, I definitely prefer to just bring SAED to that because it does a lot of bloody damage and he's got really good hit zones on the front of his body. So SAD can hit it really consistently. But hopefully you all enjoyed that. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you on the next one.